Yeah, well, uh, uh, when uh, we were informed uh, through internet that there is uh, a kudita is happening in Turkey, naturally we were quite shocked because uh, we have been following uh, Turkish politics with much enthusiasm, especially when AK Parti C, uh, managed to form the government and Erdogan becoming the Prime Minister in 2003. So for us, uh, we are looking Turkey as the beacon of hope for the Ummah. Uh, we are, we are what we call looking for inspiration uh, for, for Turkey's uh, leadership uh, in, in many ways. So when we heard about there's a Kurita, then uh, we were so shocked that uh, the uh, something is going bad going to happen to Turkey. So we call. Uh, so we start uh, following uh, the Turkey's uh, politics and news almost uh, by the minutes, you know, and and making dua that uh, the the Kurita will fail because uh, we 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 feel that Turkey is on the right track. Uh, uh, Turkey is uh, what we call uh, under the leadership of Rajab Tayyip Erdogan is, is, is putting back the hope of the Ummah. There are only two reasons why uh, the, the Kurita is being planned. Because uh, one for us uh, is due to the vision 2023. Because uh, this this is uh, the vision of hope of the Ummah uh, by becoming uh, one of the uh, important uh, world leaders uh, representing the Ummah. Uh, it is the hope of the Ummah. So we see Erdogan as the hope. Uh, secondly, why the Kurita is being planned uh, is because uh, which is to retouch our heart because of this Ummatic vision. The vision of the Ummah, uh, whereby Turkey, uh, what we call, has been uh, the, the foreign policy of Turkey. Uh, we, we call it uh, what we call uh, we are one Ummah policy. Uh, in, in in Turkish, uh, we make it popular in Malaysia. This bir ummatis, okay. So this concept of we are we are one Ummah. That is, this is uh, a very strong concept, and uh, Erdogan doesn't say anything, but he proved it in the case of uh, Syrian uh, refugees, and he don't say, and and and, and he, he tell uh, the world that they are not refugees, they are the muhajirin, and we are the Ansar. So the concept of muhajirin and Ansar is very strong. Okay, so this is this is the reason why uh, we think why we are deeply touched. And we are deeply worried about the kudita. Uh, uh, and the big why is why uh, the kudita is being planned because of these two main factors. The vision 2023, that means Turkey will emerge as the leader of the ummah, representing the voice, uh, the aspiration of the Muslim world. Uh, secondly, his uh, ummatic vision, uh, the Bisbir Ummatis foreign policy uh, that really... Uh, inspired the, the Ummah to be united based on the, uh, Iman, based on Ukhwah Islamiyah. So this is the, the, the reason. That is why we are, we are deeply concerned and disturbed when, when, when it happened. Uh, this is, this is, this is uh, something uh, uh, what we call... Uh, well, it has affected the psychology of the people, you know. The, the parliament representing uh, democracy, the parliament uh, representing the government of the people, by the people, for the people, and is being attacked. Okay, and whereas uh, what we call, we know Erdogan has been following uh, his, his ascension to become the leader of Turkey, all the way is through democracy. Okay, he won the election. Election after election, and then uh, when we have a problem uh, with decision making uh, on that affecting the major country, uh, major issues uh, among 
the Turkish people, they go for referendum. So he has following the spirit of democracy there and there. So when the, the Kodita, uh, what we call uh, led by Feto, uh, destroying the parliament, that means you are destroying democracy. And, and, and what saddens us is, is, is uh, it, it becomes a non-issue in the Western world. Yeah, so this is, this is something uh, uh, very sad uh, in that context. Of course, when you attack the, you attack the people, you attack the television station, the, you attack the military post and, and whatnot using tank, I think uh, this is uh, uh, what we call uh, totally unacceptable by any standard uh, of the world, even whether you are Muslim or non-Muslim, whether you are whether you are the Western world or not, it is totally un unacceptable. This is how, how we feel about that. So I think uh, this is uh, it inspired the people because uh, the history of Turkey has been always kudita after kudita. Okay? And we thought when the kudita is being planned, we thought it is going to end up, ended up with uh, killing, uh, ended up with arrest and, and, and what not. But much to our surprise that the people stood by it. That means the people from all walks of life. I, we saw ladies, uh, young, youngsters, uh, old uh, men and women, uh, they are willing to sacrifice their life. I think this is this 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 really inspired people. That that means they believe in democracy. They didn't want this kurita to happen, and they want the rule of the people by the people for the people must stay. I think Turkey will not look back, and Turkey Turkey uh, that act of sacrifices by uh, the people who martyred being 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 shahid. Uh, what we call that resemble the Turkey are willing to sacrifice their life for the democracy. I think that should be a big story. That should be emulated. That should inspire the world uh, about uh, the rule of democracy, which is very important in the uh, modern world. Yeah, what we call uh, what really strikes us is the the azan okay from uh, one minaret to the other calling for azan that means and then the the, the bilal or the muazzin call the people go to the road defend democracy defend our government that that really uh, what we call touch our heart that really inspired what we call the people and 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 they and they are shouting chanting allahu akbar and and, and what not that means uh, what we call democracy and islam is compatible the muslim world can accept democracy do not say that the muslim uh, don't accept democracy and turkey is a glaring example of uh, democracy in the muslim world at works excellently you know and and the muslim world should follow uh, the, the, the what we call uh, the history laid down by Turkey, the modern Turkey in terms of democracy. Okay? And, and we know the Muslim world, uh, not all of the Muslim country are following democracy. I think this is uh, very inspiring and, and, and what amazes why the West is not siding with Erdogan. You know? Because Erdogan has this vision 2023 and Erdogan has this vision of ummatic vision. This is the two things that the West is worried uh, about uh, Erdogan leadership. Yeah. Well, uh, this is uh, not strange to the Muslim world after uh, the period of colonization, after the fall of Ottoman Empire, what we call instigating local to fight among themselves, to bring down government using uh, the local as the puppet of, of, the, of the outsiders, uh, it is normal. Uh, if you remember history, the fall of Ottoman Empire when they propagated the idea of nation-state, 
the idea of uh, Arab nationalism again, uh, Ottomanism. Okay, so this feeling of dissension, this unity because of this idea of concept of nation state is being being propagated. So using the local people, I think the the the, the, the fall of Ottoman is because among the young is subscribe to the idea of uh, what we call freedom, the so-called freedom from the Ottoman Caliphate. You know, so so this 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 are. Uh, ideas that has been uh, implanted among the local. So I, I think uh, Feto is is the same strategy is being used using the local people, and uh, it is much more confusing because the the faces of Feto is Islamic charity. The faces of uh, Feto is Islamic education. So people are confused. How come uh, this uh, organization uh, having school, doing charitable work, and talking about uh, uh, what we call working together, uh, the, the, the what we call inter-religious dialogue, interfaith dialogue, and whatnot, is willing to do that? So these are the what we call the camouflage uh, is being uh, used uh, to achieve certain objective. So what we call, and it is not easy uh, for countries that they have a, a fatal school. It's not easy because they, 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 they can accept it. Because this is a school running from, uh, from Turkey and having an Islamic image. And how come, how come they are involved in this kudita? So this is why uh, some of the uh, Muslim countries till now, they refuse to close the fatal school. And they are reluctant to do that because they are quite confused. Even though it's being explained who they are, what they are doing, and why uh, Fatul Lagudan is still residing uh, in America since 1990s and, 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 and still uh, being protected in America, that doesn't click their mind. So I think uh, for, for us in, in Malaysia, slowly now we are uh, understanding the issue better. And, and, and the government is redressing the issue accordingly. Yeah.